saying it's dark, and today I'm going to be talking about the supplies you need when owning a hamster. So, when you are owning a hamster, you're going to need um, some place for your hamster to hide or sleep in. And here is one, and this is a peanut hideaway, and this is what my hamster loves to sleep in. And there's all kinds of hideaways you can buy for your hamster. So this is just one kind. Um, another thing you will need for your hamster are toys. Um, here's a toy here, and it's a bridge that they can climb on. Another toy you can get them is a seesaw, but there's many more. Another thing you'll need for a ham when owning a hamster is a wheel. Um, I have a flying saucer here, and they're also very good. They're silent. You never want to get barred or wired or mesh wheels because that will cause bumblefoot to a hamster, and it's very painful for them. So just don't get those because that will really hurt your hamster. Um, you can use silent spinners, flying saucers, comfort wheels, rodent wheels. There's many kinds of wheels you can have for a hamster. And of course, every hamster needs food, and I have this food, Vita Garden food, and um, yeah, just, I think this is good hamster food, it's a hamster and gerbil food. Um, a really recommended type of hamster food is hazel hamster, um, that's very recommended, I've heard that it's very good, so yeah. The next thing you'll need for uh, when owning a hamster is some chews. Here I have an apple chew, and um, hamsters they continuous their teeth continuously grow, so they need something to chew down and to chew down their teeth, I mean to um, wear down their teeth so they can chew on chews. And like I said, like the hideaways, there are many different kinds. Um, here's another kind of chew. This is a wooden chew. And this is loofah on it, and then this is a wooden, and it's an apple, and this one's just another kind. So, make sure you have chews for them. Um, another thing you'll need when owning a hamster is bedding. Um, there are lots of good and bad bedding. There, this is the Carefresh Complete Bedding that I'm using. Carefresh is probably the most popular and most use bedding um it's very good for hamsters also aspen's good and the cake tea um some bedding you probably don't you really don't want to use is pine and cedar bedding and um beddings that are scented and pine and cedar are very bad for hamster um because they've got they can cause like like um it will make it really bad for them like if they eat the pine and cedar and it cause respiratory problems, so that's really bad for them. And also, scented is just not good. And yeah, so I would stick with the Carefresh and Aspen and the KT. All right. Um, the next thing you'll need is a water bottle. So I'll go ahead and show you the water bottle that I use. Um, I wouldn't recommend having a water dish because it kind of, your hamster can get in it and also it could, becomes dirty easily. So I wouldn't re recommend water dish kinds. So this is, um, the water bottle I use for my hamster. And this is the KT one and it's a glass one. There's many kinds and there's a duck to show, like, how much water there is in and I'm using one of these water bottle holders if you have an aquarium or tank. So, yeah. The last thing you'll probably need for your hamster, well, you will need for a hamster, is your tank. And you're probably wondering why don't you have anything. It's because I took those out to show you. I'm going to right away put it all back in because my hamster really needs its stuff to eat. So, yeah. My hamster's over there sleeping. Um, yep, yeah. so you want to make sure your cage or tank is at least 360 square inches because if it is less than that, 
then that would be rats like hamster and it's just not enough space um there's many kinds of cages you can have and here's one of them so you need a cage and you need a food dish and yeah so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed please comment down below subscribe and like this video bye <laughs>